Have you ever wandered the streets of Bradford urging for a fresh cold snack that will just hit the spot? Well, when the sun's up and the temperature's high, just as it is today, Ricardo's is the ice cream for you. So, therefore, I'm proposing a revolutionary new ice cream parlour in Bradford. With a significant gap in the market because there's no ice cream parlours currently in Bradford, I feel that I can get one up into the market and start Ricardo's. thought about the batch size of your manufacturing? Do you know how big a vessel you need to make so much ice cream? Well, there's definitely some things I'll need to invest in. My business is called um, Jess Your Dreams and it's like um, a tailor-made Jess making service for like people, women mainly. Uh, the, here's like a short video. Like I said, it's a dress making company that fits to the um, customer specific like wants and needs and the customers pay according to the fabric and components that they choose. Said you're going to go down to the uh, the clothes show in London, yeah. And the London Fashion Week and the clothes show live. So, what would you do exactly? Is it, are they magazines? Um, no, like clothes show London. Are they exhibitions. Yeah, it's like um, lots of upcoming designers. Good afternoon, man. This is our business name, it's called Gold Star Venture. Previously, it was just me and Rich, we had both separate ideas, but the grid mentors obviously thought it'd be better to combine, combine our businesses together and create Gold Star Venture. So, just an overview of the business. Gold Star Venture Catering is an exciting new service that offers audiences who create small functions the chance to experience excellent foods for excellent prices. The grid would provide that little extra help that could distinguish bis between the business failing or the business surviving and being successful. That's our business and uh, thank you for watching and we'll happily take any questions. I can ask you Rachel, where's Gold Star come from? What's the, where's the name come from? Well, my business is called Venture Catering and hers was called Gold Star Catering. So we've combined them together to make girls happy. I just thought I'd ask. It was an easy one, that. Huh? Yeah. Um, I wanted to start a dance school, like since I was about the age of eleven. It has been a passion of mine, and and, I, and now I've like finally got a chance to make the dream become a reality. I'm going to set up a dance school, and the purpose of it is to inspire children to have a career in the performing arts industry. What kind of dance? Like, they'll be different genres, like ballet, tap, jazz, street, contemporary, and stuff like that. The name of the business I'm presenting to you today is Little Angels Daycare Centre, which will hopefully be located in Little Horton in Bradford, providing children from the ages of zero to five somewhere they can be cared for and educated away from their parents and carers. The aim of my business is to provide parents with a warm, safe environment where they are comfortable to leave their children at a fraction of typical daycare costs. <coughs> do you really need to go to university to do childcare or do you just need level three childcare? I just need level three. So, um, which is A-level equivalent, so yeah. by the time you're 18 you'll be qualified. Yeah. My business is called Houndy Sandwiches and it's a sports style sandwich bar. Um, my business aims to provide top quality food at affordable prices which will be available for the local community and the football supporters around the Bath City Football Club. What would you do in summer? Um, I ain't yet thought about that yet, but possibly moving to a different location which is still high populated, but you know, not, it obviously won't be, you know, there'll be no football games on. Or... Well, you're looking for sport when you don't, don't, rugby league plays in summer, doesn't it? Yeah, I saw it kicked off a bit could ago, be, yeah. Up to the Bulls, would it? Yeah, possibly that could be an option. Or cricket, yeah. or both. Okay.